It's time, guys. The new OCG ban list, January 1st, 2023. Here's my reaction to it. I actually already saw the very first one because as soon as I opened up the page, dude, the TR Mix Kit Kalos went from unlimited to straight up forbidden. That's insane. That actually is a crazy, crazy change. But drop a like on it if you're excited about this change. I've been tired of seeing people complain about them, but they're like kind of ish new, right? Then barriers, barrier statues should have all been banned. Let's be honest here. The, the whole idea between like not being able to special summon like one certain type is basically like a no special summons for so many different archetypes. All the barrier statues honestly could be banned. All right, so this is a huge change. So kick out, that's like, that's huge though. That's, that's basically tier zero format gone. Tier elements, yeah, that's gonna be rough. Now I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's gonna be playable or is it gonna be unplayable? Oh, wait, they hit it even harder. Oh, gosh, maybe maybe it's ripped no matter what. All right, so Ancient Fairy Dragon, It's this is going to open up FDKs. This is literally all this card does. It, 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 there's some new way to, like, win in one turn with Ancient Fairy Dragon, and then, like, all right, let's put it back. Oh, wait, someone figured out another way to do it. I don't know. It's just like that. Cash Tiro went from unlimited to one, unicorn to one. Wow, they hit that deck pretty hard. That deck was OP. I mean, people complain about tier elements, but I honestly feel like this whole idea of like you can't even summon or you can't even play spells. Dude, this is like actually insane. But uh, Shurian over here also hit to limited. Rhino Heart also limited. Uh, Tolmaeus also on the Forbidden to limited. So it's that one. Bestial Magna Hut also put to one. A Black Seam the Cloak off the ban list as well. We got that same change. Change of Heart went from Forbidden to Limited. It doesn't change the game, but let's be honest, dude. It, unless Change of Heart was like a quick play, it, it doesn't matter. Like, we've, we've evolved to a certain point in the game, right? And then Prime Change uh, Parosis uh, went from Unlimited to Limited. Branded Fusion also changed from Semi-Limited to Hit. So they hit this a little bit. And then Semi-Limited uh, Galatea. Wow. Okay, so Orc is coming back. That's a surprise. Swap Frog, also another surprise. Sky Striker, Ace Kagari. They're, they're releasing more Sky Strikers. I expected that. Yada, you can run double yada. What's the point? <laughs> right? Of Erish Mir. It went from limited to semi-limited. Okay, so that entrance back. Oh, Infernity Launcher. Our Infernity's coming back with double launcher. That's a pretty good card. Foolish Burial Goods uh, went to semi-limited. It's just supporting Sky Striker. Regeki. It's like, okay. But, like, you have Lightning Vortex, which is, like, arguably better in most circumstances. Light Stage going to two. Is it going to make them come back? I don't think so. ABC, that's not going to matter. Double Iris, I don't think that's going to matter. Water and Transfers, that's a pretty good card. Um, the Phantom Knights of Torn Scale, semi limited to unlimited, and Elixir Scarlet Sanguin, semi limited to unlimited. So, a lot of stuff got buffed. I don't see anything like new that we can play that's like, okay, that's automatically god tier levels of um, support. But, um, let me know, guys, what you think of this new ban list. Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Why? I think overall it's probably a good change for the game. I mean, these 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 two hits and these two hits are fantastic for the game. But I would really like to see if something emerges out of that. Again, Sky Strikers, we know people love them. They are continue playing it. They got new support announced. So that will probably see a lot more play in the OCG. And then on top of that, Infernities. I mean, that deck is still like... That deck has been relevant for... A long time. I still see people trying to play Infernities, and the deck does well. If it goes first and it pops off, it's like it's enough negates to win the game, right? But putting Launcher 2, maybe they made a mistake with that. I don't know. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on it if you're new here. Hit subscribe, turn the bell so you don't miss out. When we get that, I don't even know when we're getting the TCG ban list. We just got one. Maybe February is when we'll get one, and I'll cover that in the next video. Anyways, take care, and I'm signing out. Peace.